Hey guys, I'm Alicia, and I haven't done this since. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Alicia from MobilityMastery.com, and today is January seventh, twenty nineteen. Happy New Year to you! And I'm coming to you today, literally today, just a couple hours ago. We got into our new place in Marin County, California. If you guys have been following me for any time, you know that it's been kind of a crazy year, 2018 was anyway. Um, and I'm so excited to be here. We're in the hills above Marin County. Uh, look at it, it's so beautiful. I love this tree, we have a banana tree here. Anyway, I'm excited to be here. So today I have a technique for you um, that's gonna help with uh, lymph drainage in the neck um, and kind of the upper chest area. So. Um, anytime we're toxic or maybe fighting off um, an infection or about to get sick or um, you know really anything like in that genre of infection or uh, toxicity um, our lymph can get strained and when it does it can get clogged and these lymph nodes in our neck can get sore or swollen I don't know if you've ever felt your own lymph nodes sometimes behind your ear or under your jaw um, they can get uh, bigger when they're fighting off an infection or toxicity. Um, they can get painful as well. But even if they're not painful, um, they might be a little swollen or they might not be um, totally clear. And so this is a really great technique for um, moving your lymph through manually um, and helping it drain into actually the abdominal cavity and then it's gonna hopefully move out of your body. So I've been using this technique a lot for the last um, year since the mercury poisoning and being on the road a lot somehow miraculously through this whole thing <laughs> camping in the cold and the wind sometimes and uh, being super stressed and not having a home for 11 months until today um, somehow Stefan and I both didn't get sick I don't know how that happened <laughs> um, but my lymph nodes definitely got a little swollen sometimes and every time they got swollen or I felt like I wasn't moving toxicity through I would um, do what I'm about to show you today to help drain the lymph and I wouldn't get sick so I believe this works uh, and I'm excited to show it to you today Alright, so I'm going to be working the left side of my neck, and I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be using my right two fingers, maybe three fingers, um, and then my other hand is going to be a, kind of a supporting hand. Now, if you've been with me for a long time, then you may um, recognize what I'm about to do from another technique I've shown you, which is how to release your SEMs and your scalenes, and we're actually going to combine a little bit of that method today with some lymph specific movements. So um, I'm gonna show you both and then I'm gonna show you combining them. And I like to start from behind the ear here and I might just start by palpating, right? Like palpating all around the ear, right up to the ear, under the jaw. I'm just looking for tender spots. So if you find a really tender spot, then you're gonna to wanna to spend some time there um, and kind of focus there because that means it's really blocked there or clogged um, and your lymph is trying to help you, but it needs some help to drain. Um, so uh, fascial release is gonna help, um, you know, unclog restriction in the soft tissue system that could be blocking that lymph from actually draining fully. And then we're gonna combine some um, more longer, softer, uh, strokes of movement that help drain the lymph down towards the ducts here um, and then push it into you know the abdominal cavity where it can actually go out um, and move out of the body so uh, you know I'm actually doing pretty good I don't have a whole lot of sore spots right now which is good <laughs> um, but when I do they're typically like right behind the ear um, maybe right here at the junction of the jaw and the ear um, and when you do this, you might actually feel like either, you might feel it in your ear, like your inner ear. Um, if you pu pu press here or push here, um, and when you start moving your head. So just want you to know that's normal and this can probably help um, clear some of those inner ear um, canals as well if something is blocked like internally in there. Um, so I'm gonna use these two fingers and then this one's supporting and we're going to combine pressure here with head movement and then a little bit of movement here so this is the fascial release part of what we're doing um, 
So I'm gonna like grab onto something. I feel almost like a little nodule there. And I'm gonna use head movement of going up and then right and left. And I'm kind of, we're just kind of cross um, stroking those fibers. We're trying to shear them apart. So they run like, you know, if these are the fibers here, we're actually trying to um, provide pressure and movement across because we want to shear them. Um, so they run this way. So I'm kind of doing movement that way. And you'll notice that my neck is going to start turning really red. That's a good thing. It means blood's coming through. We're releasing the fascia um, and things are moving. Um, so again, pressure and kind of going side to side. So the head movement going side to side is what helps kind of release the fascia. And now I'm allowing my fingers to kind of drift down, downward. And then I might just pick them up um, and place them somewhere if I feel it, because I just felt like tenderness here. This is actually a lot more tender on me than up here. So I'm gonna lean into it and then stretch it away. Now, right here, we're getting into some of the scalene fascia and it would not be abnormal to feel a referral into your shoulder or down your arm if it feels kind of numb or almost like a, um, almost a sensation of not feeling. It's just a numb referral. That's normal if you ever get zingy uh, electrical pain, you're on a nerve and you need to come off right away. So you never wanna be on a nerve, um, but that referral is okay. So we could spend a lot of time here. I mean, you could spend um, just a couple minutes for a quick uh, drain and you could spend 30 minutes. So I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes. I'm just gonna show you some of the principles you wanna use um, in a couple different areas. And then just try it on yourself and experiment and make it your own. Your body's gonna be different than my body. Your fingers are gonna be different. So just find what works for you. Um, but it should kind of feel like a good massage. This isn't gonna be crazy intense unless your lymph is super clogged and you have some really intense, um, you know, sore lymph nodes. Um, so just to kind of wrap up, this is the fascial re release part. We're trying to cross fiber through movement of the head. So right now I'm like strumming across some hard fascia here and then I'm moving down. So I would work my way all the way down and then into the clavicle. And now this also, once you get down here, is important to open up the subclavius area and a little bit of that pec fascia because that's gonna help drain it all the way down in that um, lymph duct area right here. Um, and so you're gonna just kind of grab your soft tissue and then move your head. And you can probably see how taut my skin is, but it's the fascia too. And then I can even do jaw or uh, mouth movements here of like opening. <laughs> so lots of opportunity here for different movements, but again, left, right, up, down, tilting your head, tilting it this way. This way is gonna load it into this area. And when I go this way with it pinned, it's gonna stretch it. Um, so I like to grab it loaded and then stretch it. Um, and you can even do some little just massage-like stuff here in the subclavius. Um, but I like the fascial release the best. I'm just providing pressure here and movement. And then um, the lymph drainage part is going to be more um, movements uh, here along the neck. Um, and you want to kind of go in a downward motion. So I like to combine the two, but again, we're just, we're encouraging the lymph to drain from here down. So you might grab this here and then down. And this does not need to be um, rough or intense. Um, you want some pressure uh, to, you know, encourage movement, but you don't want to be jabbing in or poking in. The point isn't to be intense here. It's just to encourage the lymph to drain. So. I'm, bet, I'm guessing I'm starting to turn red here. I can feel it. So the whole point is downward movement, downward movement. You don't wanna be um, encouraging the lymph to drain up. Um, you want it to go down. So always going down um, when you're releasing the fascia. It doesn't matter as much, it's more of that pin and then moving your head um, to release it through that, the movement of the muscles and the fascia itself. 
So I hope that makes sense. And of course you're gonna wanna do the other side as well. All right, so give that a try. And you know, just keep in mind that what I showed you doesn't have to be done exactly like I showed you. I'm giving you guidelines and I give you total permission to make this your own, experiment, use different fingers maybe than I'm using. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. Uh, but some of the principles that I just taught you can be used you know, throughout your whole neck or under the clavicle, like I showed you. Um, and you can spend anywhere from five minutes doing this, two and a half minutes per side, to honestly, you could probably spend um, 30 minutes working this whole area. I did that once when I felt super toxic um, in Southern California, and I was probably spent 30 minutes on my neck and my chest area, and then another 30 minutes in my abdominal area, and we'll link to that post and video for you um, in the description below as well, because it's a great accompaniment to this one, but I just want you to know you can make it your own. It doesn't have to be exactly like I showed you, but I'd love for you to give it a try, and then tell me what you think. So comment below, tell me what you think, um, say hi and happy New Year's. I'd love to talk to you guys. And uh, of course, you can um, go to mobilitymastery.com if you want to join uh, my email list. We've got some free resources for you, and you can even learn a kinetics technique. Uh, and we'll put that link below um, in the description as well. So, Happy New Year! Happy 2019! I think this is going to be a way better year than 2018, at least for me. I'm planning to make it so, and I'm excited to be um, on this journey with you guys. All right. Bye. You may say